Well, this case got a lot of attention, and part of that attention, prosecutors say, is what attracted more people to come forward and tell them their stories, that they, too, had information about James Carey. Also, prosecutors told a judge today in arguing that his bail should be increased, that they believed he lied on employment forms, neglecting to tell an employer, a school district where he was driving a bus, that he had been a police officer in the first place. It was insult to injury when they discovered the defendant was out in the community hours after being arrested. First Assistant District Attorney Jennifer Shorn says it was right after his arrest on April 7th that her office got to work trying to get James Carey back in jail. They say the former cop not only used his badge to gain the trust of children and parents, but used it to hide his alleged crimes. And despite red flags and warnings, they say he remained on the job with Warminster Township until he retired in 2009. A one-time D.A.R.E. officer, the D.A. says Carey targeted boys who are facing challenges, used his power and trust, not just with kids, but with their parents. And once he had it, he fondled, molested, and had children engage in sex acts with him. According to more than 80 pages of documents filed in court, many in the community knew of Carey's closeness, especially with young boys. Witnesses told a grand jury there were rumors about hot tub parties in Carey's backyard. And in 2001, one teen made a report to Warminster police. The office of the former district attorney wrote, while criminal charges could not be filed at that juncture, her office had grave concerns about the safety of the community. As you worked at a campground near Cape May, police say Carrie was the subject of a police investigation then alleging misconduct with children. Again, no charges were filed. After a victim came forward last year, police took a look at Carrie again and they say they found new allegations and new victims. And say after his arrest on April 7th, more complaints have come in. And in some cases, the complaints of alleged victims, they say, are leading to other potential victims. Now, no new charges have been filed in this case. We did ask prosecutors about that and the potential for new charges. They say that they are still investigating these other claims that have come in since that April 7th press conference, and they say they are giving a lot of credit to the people who have come forward to tell their stories. They say that's how this case is being prosecuted now after those failed attempts previously because of statute of limitation issues. So if you know anything about James Carey, Investigators still are asking for your help. Reporting live in Doylestown, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News.